Hello family, grace to you. This is Greg coming to you once again from faithsmessenger.com. Today I want to title this message, Caring for the Babes in Christ. Caring for the Babes in Christ. I had the privilege and an opportunity to uh, have breakfast with a brother in the Lord here a few days ago. Um, this particular person has not been saved very long. I believe he said eight or nine months. Uh, and it was very interesting to see he's still on fire for God. Not to say that we should lose our fire over time, but it's evident when someone has, is new in faith and is really into the scriptures and into the word, and they're just so gung-ho, and it, it, it was very refreshing to spend time with him. Um, during our conversation, um, there were several things that came up. I want to first of all say that we have to remember that the common denominator between us all in the body of Christ is Jesus. If our relationship and our trust and our belief in Him is intact, everything else is fluff. Everything else can be corrected. Everything else um, is not as important. Sure, it's important, but as long as we agree on that common denominator, we're good, we're fine. So I, I heard a lot that came out of my friend's mouth that I don't necessarily agree with scripturally, but he was on fire. Now, would it be right for me to come down on him and, and rebuke him and to just try to correct everything he says? No, not at all. I've been a Christian for about 35 years, so dealing with someone, let's look at it on a, on a natural physical basis. You have an eight month old and you have a 35 year old. Of course that eight month old may do some things that are not uh, politically correct. They may sling their food, they may cry, they may whine, they may do a myriad of things. As a 35 year old, am I going to spank him because he tosses his bottle or am I going to come down on him and expect him to act as a mature person at eight months old? Well, no, that's ridiculous. I want to um, impress upon my brothers and sisters that it's the same in the spirit. We, there's a general spirit of wanting to be right that permeates the body of Christ, I feel. The, 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 a spirit of wanting to come down and correct everything and get people to line up and see the scripture and see spiritual things exactly the way we see them. And it's totally not called for. It's not needed. Once again, the common denominator is Jesus Christ. He loved the Lord. He's my brother. We are one. We have that as a common denominator. So, sure, there might be some immature statements. There might be some immature moments. But I trust that as he diligently seeks the Lord, those things will be worked out. So I want to encourage the body to be mindful of, of our development, our, our varied stages of spiritual growth and development. Give the babies time to grow. Give them the nurture that they need. Don't quench their spirit. Admire them. Um, boost them. Help them. Promote them. Um, Pray for them. Allow them time to grow as hopefully you were afforded the opportunity to grow and develop and to develop in the Lord. And in due time, in due season, they will reach a, a mature status as you have reached. And they will reflect that growth and that maturity in the Lord. So I just want to impress, I just want to impress upon you and impress upon us and remind us to give the babies time to grow. Give them time to develop. Um, it's not necessary that we agree on everything, that we see everything out of eye. Our common denominator is Jesus as Lord. So I want to thank you for spending time with me here today. And if you are a fellow Christian YouTuber, I invite you to join our Christian community located at micro-ministries.com. And what that community is about, we are about getting you as much traffic to your YouTube channel as possible. We are a group of Christian YouTubers who have banded together to supply encouragement, support, to lend SEO tips, to do whatever we can to support one another's growth of our YouTube channels, thereby fulfilling the Great Commission via YouTube. You're welcome to join us. Once again, it's micro-ministries.com. It is a private community, so I'll have to send you an invitation. 
So, send me an email at faithsmessenger at gmail.com and paste your, your URL in that email message and I'll send that invitation over to you right away. Also, if you have not done so already, I would invite you to subscribe at our blog at faithsmessenger.com and get notifications when new blog posts are posted. I would like to leave you with this one question, and it has nothing to do with where you are, spiritually speaking, in terms of your growth and development. I'd like to ask you, as opposed to whatever you're feeling, whatever you're facing today, is anything impossible with God? Have a great evening, and I will speak to you later. Bye-bye.